And tonight, we want to introduce you to AI hearing aids. An audiologist in Stockton is making home visits, showing older residents how to use the new technology, and it's really changing lives. Photojournalist Xavier Uardi has the story. I've had a very exciting life, very exciting, for a little homemaker from Stockton, California. I also wrote the sesquicentennial show that was done for the city of Stockton. I also performed at Carnegie Hall. I was having trouble hearing. I didn't realize how much trouble. I was reading to children and I wouldn't hear their questions. I went to my hearing check and they said, oh yeah, you, you know, I definitely needed hearing aids. I fell in love with Tony and Lizzie. I, I can't tell you how gracious they were. When we start somebody on their hearing journey, because it's a process, it should not be a one and done, there you go, thank you, see ya. It should be a, this is our practice, this is who we are, I hope you like us because we're going to be seeing a lot of each other. We had the signia come across our desk and we started to read the literature on the um, artificial intelligence that they're employing. About five years ago, they were able to, the technology blossomed and they were able to get 360 degree sound field, which is huge because that affects your balance. It also is safety, people behind you, next to you, near you you know, traffic. Your hearing is centered in the temporal lobes along with your memory. And so when that isn't getting stimulated, it kind of recedes and shrinks. It atrophies like any other muscle. I am not a tech person at all, but I can use my phone to adjust my hearing aid. So it is easy. If I can use it, anybody can use it. The AI is not traditional AI. It's not taking any of your personal information. It's not taking your name, anything that can be connected to you. It's just taking mathematical understanding of an environment and shooting it up to the cloud. Then if you're in a situation where you're struggling and your situation matches something else or most likely many other things that people have experienced, it will then put those sound parameters as options for you to experience to see if that's something that will work for you. Whenever you hear a beep, no matter how softly, I want you to press the button. We do a lot of work within our community. Um, in the past, uh, we started with Rio Las Palmas and we have a number of clients in their facility that we still will visit on occasion. And we do work at the Stockton Community Center. Uh, we work at the Lodi, the Lowell Center. We go and we test. We offer all of our testing and clean and checks gratis, completely free. I look oh, forward okay. to making a difference in people's lives because what I do, what I I spend like maybe three minutes doing here on a computer will affect them every single day inside and outside of whatever it is they're doing and that's huge many people my age think well you know they're at home alone anyway it doesn't make that much difference you deserve to be able to enjoy every sound available to you if you are 50 60 70 you can't live your life thinking, I don't know how much time I have left. I mean, that would be a horrible way to exist. And your hearing is a huge part of that. And I want to mention, we first met Lizzie back in January because $12,000 was drained from her business Bank of America account because of a fraudulent Zelle transaction. We reached out to the bank about this and are happy to report that that money was returned to the account. And it helped Lizzie get back on the road to do what she loves to do most, and that's help people in the San Joaquin Valley. So to learn more about her services and these high-tech hearing aids, head to abc10.com slash to the point.